for us to come back. Oh, to David Engelhoff, who is, is probably, he was with me every step of the way from the first day to the last day. Probably the most loyal human being that I know. And I know he was behind a lot of this. Um, you know, just some, some special people getting here and, and I tried not to show but I was scared to death and there were three people, a man named Jack Schramm, a man named Jim Trussell, and a man named Jim Foster, who did an incredible job of, of helping me navigate through that. I think also, you know, I, I developed some great friends and, and I gotta say thank you to a guy, Joey Schottstein and his two crew, for loving me for who I was, not for wins and losses, and, and always putting a smile on my face when I needed it. Because you don't get friends like that in coaching very often. Also, I want to thank the doctors who, who took care of me. And starting with Vince O'Brien, our trainer, I've always said this, Vince, Vince could write a book. Because late on in my career, I was spending more time in the training room than well, I won't name the player, but you all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> also, you know, from, from Grant Jones to Jim Borchers to Don LeMay, Dr. Andy Thomas to, to Nino Kioka to Steve Smith, uh, Udi Mandel, all these guys, Bodo Knudsen, were one call away whenever I needed them. Chris Kading, who was my neighbor, I can't explain how many nights uh, I pulled in his driveway and he helped me get out of the car. Um, finally, I want to thank the coaches that I worked with. I didn't have great coaches or good coaches. I had great coaches. And those guys did a phenomenal job of, of carrying the load for me. And to the players that I coached here, honestly, there's not words that, that I can put into them. You know, Barbara and I gave every player that played for us a cross. 
after their time because we wanted to know that we were with them and God was with them as they went into the real world.